XYP.com. Use code CUTE at checkout. Stop gambling your money. Are you tired of the pack odds? Go save your money. Go to the website. Use code CUTE. Link down below me buying coins off this website. Right now, 500 k is below $14. All right, guys, we are back. Top 10 quarterbacks. Let's clear up the picture. All right, subscribe if you're new. I do at least three videos a day. It's my fifth video today. I already did a video on Tebow. Just go down the list, right? Ryzen, Walker, and Pickett. This is top 10, guys. Let's get to it. Who is not number 10? It's going to be Pickett. He is not a top 10 quarterback. I do like covering the newer quarterbacks to really answer the questions. So I know it's when you guys click on these videos. That's what you really want to know. Kenny Pickett has a bad release. He doesn't get the best abilities. So short and to the point, he's not top 10. This is not top 10. Bad release, doesn't get the best abilities. So there's just no reason to even pick up this card actually. And I wouldn't really like to cover the names people like to play with, like Fields is fun. I get it. If you want to run with him, you can. But you're going to be at a disadvantage with his release and lack of abilities. Number 10 is going to be T-Law. 6-6 is nice. Uh, speed, he's not very shifty. I will say traditional forward is not the best. So, what's really holding this card back is going to be his release. If you guys need the best short ball release, he doesn't have it. You need the best deep ball release, he doesn't have it. So, I can't recommend this card when there's already a better free card in the game, Stabler. So... Um, yeah, when you get him, you might just want to quick sell him, but uh, you can use him. He's going to be usable, obviously, but he's not going to be the best, but he is number 10. I do like this Danny Dimes card. Slinger 3 is nice. He has okay speed. Well, I guess you could say good. He cannot spin, and yeah, this card here is going to be missing abilities. Some abilities just cost too much. So with that being said, Right now in Madden, there are going to be better options, but he's a usable guy. If you're a fan of him, go use him. But who's next? Lamar Jackson is also going to be missing ability. He does not that you get the big four, like Sefi Lee, Gunslinger, Hot Rock Master, and Fearless. He does not get all four of those. So do keep that in mind. You will be at a disadvantage. And Slinger 3 is nice. He gets all 32 teams. You like to see that. And yeah, he's shifty. Great. If you run a lot of options, you can go get him. He's going to be a great guy for that. He's going to be not very expensive, really. Um, I do like that the fact that you can use him for that. But if you just need a guy who gets the abilities with the same release, he's there's just better options. There's Tua. Two is here. Slinger one best short ball release in the game. 400k, which means he's a rental. You can quick sell for 350, which is nice. You're not going to lose any coins, really. Now, what's wrong with this card? Well, the abilities. Uh, as you can see here, he's not going to get the big four. So you're going to be at a disadvantage of missing abilities. He's going to be fast. He's going to be fun. Don't forget, though, he is left-handed. I know it bothers some of you, but let's get to who's next. Drew Brees is really good. Slinger won, and guess what? He does get the abilities. So you can get the big four on him. He's going to be a pocket passer. So if you just need a guy to sit in the pocket and deliver, and you say, hey, I never run, go get this guy. You're going to be just fine with him. Um, he's going to hit his targets. He's going to be accurate. He's not that expensive compared to others. So, yeah, Slinger 1, if you, if, especially if you run a, like a West Coast system, you dump the ball off a lot, you're really going to like the way he plays. Depending how you play, you could say Vic is 1. This list, guys, is also going to just depend on you right so if you're just a west coast guy that dumps the ball off then slinger one's gonna be better than slinger three right and if you use playmaker like i do zero is better zero ap so how do you play is going to really matter on who is going to be your number one right it's because this guy here is really good um so if you don't mind left-handed then you're going to like this guy better but he is good. He's in game. You can use him until the end of Madden. I really like this big card. Go try him out. Taylor is so good, guys. If you have the card, he's in game. He's free. You don't have to upgrade. You really don't. You're not really missing very much. Uh, gets all 32 teams. Gets legends. Release. Gets the AP stack. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with him. Some of you hate left-handed. I get it. Then quick sell him. Go ahead. 
And we'll see who's next because this card here really is in game. You can just keep using them. Here is next. He's just a right handed stabler. They literally have the same release, same ability discount. So if you hate the left hand, go get Justin Herbert. If you have not used Justin Herbert, you're going to love the card. He's actually really good. The discounts, release, all that. Um, Justin Herbert is going to be a guy you can use at the end of the game as well. So go try him out. And when you get this far in the year and on the list, you have to look at little bitty things that are going to make a card better. Now he has the same release as Herbert, and guess what? He's going to spin way better. So you're going to say, well, that's very small. It is. And he's going to be more shifty, be able to pick up more yards. I know a lot of you don't run, but if you need to run, he's going to be a better option. So just because of that, I'm going to put him ahead of Herbert. But McNair is great in game. You can see his price is just tanked. Um, yeah, with all the new quarterbacks coming out. But who's number one? All right, guys, Tim Tebow is number one. You can get 99 speed on him. Legends, Broncos, Jets. Do you remember he does not get all the Team Canada? I know some people were asking about that. Duke and Spin feels fine. He's not like a Vic, though. I'm going to tell you right now. If you run with him, you run with Vic, you're not going to like it. He's not going to be shifty. He's over 250 pounds. So he is not going to move like Vic. But you can truck with him, but you can also fumble with him. But why is this card number one? It's because of the abilities he gets, right? So this guy actually gets more ability spots. There you go. So you can actually like get him and put bulldozer here. You put fast break. So you can make him a pretty elite runner. And because he gets the most ability spots, he's gonna be the best. You can actually just put more on him. Can you use the other quarterbacks? Yes. Does he offer more? Yes. So number one is going to be Tim Tebow. Slinger three is amazing, of course. So Tim Tebow is number one. That's enough for me, guys. Go see Tebow in action. I already did a gameplay today on him, Ryzen, Walker, and Kenny Pickett. This is the fifth video of the day. Subscribe if you're new. Most consistent videos. I promise you I ain't going nowhere. Over three videos per day. It's crazy. And we're going to see you in the next video. Be kind for no reason.